Hey guys, Michael here. Well, as you can see, we're doing something a little bit different today. I'm actually going to share with you a Halloween themed project. This is going to be how to make a black acrylic earring from scratch inside this XCS software. And then we're going to actually take it out to the shop and make this earring. This is all in celebration of Halloween because it's literally less than a week away. Stick with me. Let's get to it. Here we are in XCS. Let's get started in this project. First thing I'm going to do is start drawing my shapes. I want to insert a circle. So I'm going to come over here to insert and select circle, pick on the screen and start dragging. If you notice, it's an oval. If I hold down shift, it actually makes it a circle at locks proportion. But I want to keep it at an oval, so I let go of shift and I'm going to pick a shape that would fit what I'm looking for. I think that would look good. I'm going to copy this three more times. So I'm going to Control C with it selected, and then Control V, Control V, Control V. Now I'm going to spread these out a little bit. I'm just going to grab this last one and move it about like that. So now, how can I evenly distribute this and line these up? So let's just select them all, align, and I'm going to pick top. So now they're even at the top. Now I want to distribute them from left to right. This will not move from the left, and this will not move from the right. It'll just distribute the middle ones evenly. So I can go over here to align and distribute horizontally. If I had moved this way over here and did the same thing, align horizontally, it would evenly space them all out. However, I want it kind of small, so I'm going to undo that. I can come over here and hit undo, or I can hit control Z on the keyboard, Z as in zebra. Now, I'm going to zoom in holding the control and the mouse wheel. Now, I want to make these two circles here, the two ovals, a little bit taller on top and bottom. So I'm going to select one at a time. So if you see when I hover over it, it highlights. I'm going to pick it with my mouse and hold down shift. I'm going to hover over the next one. Holding down shift, I'm going to pick it. Now I have both of them selected. I can grab this uh, right here in the middle or grab on the bottom, either one, and drag it. As you see, it actually gets bigger on top and bottom. If I did not want to go proportion, I can actually uncheck this box and it would not grow horizontally and vertically. However, I'm fine with the way it did that right there. So how do we make this a pumpkin? I'm going to combine all of these pieces. I'm going to highlight them all, combine, and unite. Now, if I only highlighted one, you can see that's not available. So you have to select more than one, combine, unite, and now we are almost look like a pumpkin. I need to stretch this a little bit more. I think it's a little bit too tall. So uh, going back to that proportion thing I talked about, if I do this, it actually gets smaller. I don't want to do that. I just want to make it get shorter. So I'm going to select it, uncheck this lock, and make it a little bit fatter. There we go. Now that looks more like a pumpkin. So now I need a place to put the hardware, the actual hardware of the earring. So I'm going to insert another circle up here insert the circle and this time I'm going to hold down the shift key to make an actual perfect circle and I'm going to drag it in that location. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and just kind of pick a spot that I think fits. Now I want to go down a little bit more and I can't do it with the mouse because it snaps too much. I can use the arrow keys and go down and that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to combine these two objects. Select them, combine, unite, now I need one more circle there. This circle is going to be where I'm actually going to attach the hardware for the earring. However, before I do that, let me double check the uh, total size of my pumpkin. I want my total size of my pumpkin to be about 30 millimeters wide. So let me, with this selected, I'm going to go ahead and override that and put 30. Now it's 30 millimeters wide. So I did that because I want the circle that I'm going to add right here to be about 2 millimeters in diameter just based on the experience of what I've uh, made in the past because I've been making a ton of these earrings. So I wanted to go ahead and fit this to the 30 millimeters, which I think works good for the size I need. That way this two millimeter circle will actually work really well. So holding down shift, make it a circle. I'm gonna adjust it to two. As you can see, they're both two. And I'm gonna take this, and zoom in as much as I can. I can't zoom anymore, thousands of percent is the only amount you can go to. So with that, I'm just going to eyeball it and drag it over here. And using my keys, my arrow keys, I'm going to make it fit. That looks pretty good. So you want enough uh, meat, so to speak, right there, enough acrylic left over. 
after you do the cut that way it doesn't break so I wanted to move that down about a millimeter in thickness I think so how do I make this centered on the piece I can select it all align and center now that is for sure centered in there I'm gonna go ahead and group these together that way it's one piece um, so to speak it's actually grouped as one piece when I move it now it's one piece there all right now let's add some eyes a nose and a mouth because we want more than a pumpkin we want a jack-o-lantern since it's Halloween so I'm gonna go over to shape insert a triangle where is the triangle why cannot find there it is there's a triangle so when I select it it actually pops on the screen however I'm zoomed in so much you can't see it so I'm gonna hold down scroll and zoom out and there it is before I you know mess with this I'm gonna insert one more shape that I'm gonna need that way I don't have to zoom back out again I'm going to enter this smiley face this little half moon here so I'm going to go ahead and click on the screen and move it over here now I can zoom in a little bit more and work with my shapes here selecting this shape I want to hold the proportion so keep the padlock on and drag this down and this is going to be an eye so I just have to resize it I'm going to line this top of the triangle up with this dip right here and get a little bit closer to the top now I'm going to copy that paste that and drag it close and get just like that okay so now I need a nose let me paste it one more time now this one I'm going to make a little bit smaller and those those little lines that snap right there they actually help you show you this is actually centered vertically and horizontally but I want it up a little bit higher like that yeah I think that looks pretty good yeah let's leave it like that and now this is going to be my mouth so I need to rotate this mouth I can click on this and drag it or I can click on up here and type in what I want so I want it to be minus 90 degrees and I need some teeth in here because what's a jack-o-lantern without some teeth hanging out the mouth so I'm gonna do this oops did not mean to do that rotate that let's move them with my arrows all right let's get one more tooth right here and that that doesn't look half bad now I want to use these as cookie cutters to cut out my moon shape so you'll have to put these in the right order so this square Picture this is the square and this is the smiley face. The square has to be on top for it to cut through the smiley face. If it were the opposite, the smiley face would cut through the square. You don't want that. So to do that, to make sure the square is on top, you can select it and say arrange, bring to front. Then I can select the two of them, combine, subtract. So it's going to use this as a cookie cutter to cut out that moon, subtract. Now when you do that, this actually came up top. So now that... That smiley face is above the squares, and I need to flip-flop them because I need to do the cookie cutter thing again. So to do that, you have to do this two more times. Copy the square, bring to front, select them both, subtract. Square, bring to front, select them both, subtract. Now, let's move this on top of my pumpkin. As you can see, it's way too big. Let's drag a corner and make it smaller okay let me make it wider now I don't like what it's doing right now it looks kind of funny so let me turn off the proportion let me zoom in and see if I can make that I cannot zoom anymore I wish they it made this thing where you could zoom in more however you cannot so I turn this off and let's go over here and make this a little bit wider of a smile a little bit flatter of a smile this is one goofy looking pumpkin I don't like that pumpkin at all let's redo that real quick so I'm gonna go to shape smiley face zoom out move them I'm gonna rotate it this way this time and that was not straight I like the actual rotating it this way because you know it's perfect it's actually uh, perpendicular to where you want it to be let's insert some teeth make sure this is centered Let's go, let's go ahead and cut this while we're doing it. Subtract. All right, let's insert another tooth. Yeah, 
this? What is this? Let's turn this off. What does this look like? Um, yeah, let's, let's try that. All right, so let's make sure this is on top. Bring the front. Select them both. Subtract. Select this one. Bring the front. Select them both. Subtract. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. All right, let's move them over here. And kind of zoom out and zoom in. So we've got to center this again. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off my proportions so I can actually kind of resize this and make it fit here. That looks, that looks a lot better. All right. So um, you can double check everything. Let's say the mouth is a little bit off center and I want to recenter everything. You can, but don't do these eyes. So I could select the smaller items first because it's kind of weird when you start selecting. You'll see what I mean when you play with the uh, XCS. But I'm going to select this triangle, holding down shift, select the mouth. Holding down shift, select the outside. Remember, this circle is actually grouped with this one. That's why they're highlighted at the same time. Select that. And I'm going to say uh, align center. So they are centered. So that's it. I mean, I've made my pumpkin. He's ready to go. Let me go to file, save as. And I'm going to put this in my Halloween earrings folder. And I'm going to name it uh, Fun Pumpkin. Now all I have to do is uh, go down to the shop, load up my acrylic, make sure I have my settings set up, which I'll do down there before I send it to the M1, and we can make our earring. Okay, let's head to the shop. Okay, here I am in the shop. Let's make sure I got everything. First up, I have my XCS open in my fun pumpkin file. I have my M1 ready to go. I have my aluminum panel at the bottom, or sitting on top of my base plate. Prisms installed and a piece of black acrylic on top of my prisms. When I close this, I want to make sure the laser is actually touching the top part of this acrylic and not shooting through one of those holes so that I can actually use the auto measure feature. Right, so as you can see here, the M1 has already refreshed the acrylic inside the screen. Let's double check our settings here. We have it set to laser flat. I'm going to pick three millimeter black acrylic underneath the defined material. I'm going to go ahead and measure the thickness of the material. Now this is not actually measuring the thickness because I'm using three millimeter black. It's already three millimeter. However, it's measuring the distance for the laser to actually do the autofocus. So it measured at 11.8 millimeters. Okay, so to make the most of the acrylic, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and move this just where I can miss some existing cuts using the camera built in the M1. Also, I want to change the size of this earring from 30 millimeters to 35, and I can do that just by highlighting the pumpkin and changing 35 up here on the right. Let me move this just a little bit more because I think I may actually hit some um, of existing cuts that I did there. All right, so let's do one final check. I'm at laser flat. I have the material selected. I've already done my auto measure, and I made sure the item is in the right location. Let me go ahead and hit process. From here, I have the option of selecting framing, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that and hit start. And then all I have to do is hit the button on the M1 to start processing the pumpkin. Well, I pulled it out of the M1 and added the hardware. And you can see here, I have a nice jack-o'-lantern earring. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you have a safe and happy Halloween. And uh, I'll see you next time.